Okay, so hey everyone, this is Dave O'Connor and the scene you're looking at now is from the one and only Natalie Healy's office here. In Oxfordshire. It's in Oxfordshire. Okay, it's in Oxfordshire. <laughs> so, um, let me just see. Oh, I am. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Uh, so we're going to do a little interview with Natalie Healy. And uh, this, of course, any broadcasts I do are general MLM tips, mindset tips, of course. So uh, here is Natalie Healy, the one and only. Good Natalie morning, Healy. everybody. How are you? Keep Good those morning, love hearts coming. Dave needs lots of love. Yes, we both need lots of we love do, today, we guys. Do. Let's see who's on the line. Hi, Mike. Fisher, hey, Lucia. Emma Chatterley. Hey, Emma, how's it going? Hi from Bonnie, Scotland. Fantastic. Who else have we got? We've got Lucia. Good morning, Lucia. We have. And if you want to hear some really great tips, Harry from Dorset. Then tap on that screen and show Deco us how much from Dublin. you want this. We've got someone from Worcester. Yeah. Stevenage. We've got Pembrokeshire. Pembrokeshire. Cheshire, hey, hey, Upton. hey, hey, that's right, okay. Good morning, everyone. Well, or good afternoon, wherever you are. Um, oh, yeah, it's good afternoon, actually. Hello from it? Brazil. We got Brazil. We got 250 people on from at Maine, the moment. Maine, Southport, Kettering. Yay, fantastic. Hey, from Scotland. Lanark in Scotland. Wonderful. So, hey, guys, I mean... Um, uh, we have just done uh, a blueprint and, you know, for those who don't know what a blueprint is, it's like a rewiring and, and reprogramming process. And uh, I've worked with Nat for about six years now and um, we did one on gratitude, right? And that's probably about, I don't know, probably about our 77th blueprint at this <laughs> stage now. And Nat, we've done them for help me get me to so where many I am, years. Dave. Hi from Sweden. Fantastic. All right. And... Um, you know, the theme of, of gratitude, by the way, was just that the more that you put yourself in that vibration of gratitude, whatever you appreciate, appreciates, then more great things will happen. And we did this particular blueprint in three different stages to feel gratitude for everything that's happened in your life up till now, right? Because everything counts, both the good and the bad, they've shaped you to be who you are today. So gratitude for your past, Gratitude for the present, all of the opportunities you have now, all of the people that are in your team, all the people in your life right now, and then also gratitude for the gifts that have yet to come, the opportunities that life has in store for you. Okay, so um, Nat, are you feeling in that vibration of gratitude? I certainly am. I certainly am. I think my career has rocketed so much over the past uh, six, seven years that I've been working with Dave that, you know, sometimes you need to actually take that time to be grateful, take that time to think about what you have achieved rather than moving on to the next thing all of the time. And, you know, that's what I asked Dave for today, really, is just to be able to take a moment and think about all the people that we've helped together, what we've achieved, and to be able to be able to be grateful for the moments of time with my children, just to be able to sit and smell the flowers, smell the coffee, you know, to be able to be there in the moment. Because I think when you're building a business, when you're working really hard, you're constantly focusing on the next challenge, the next challenge all of the time. And to be grateful is really about giving you that time to think about what you have achieved and to put it out there and what you're putting out is what you're going to attract in you know the power of the universe is so so key in everything that we do hi laura hey laura yes and talk about smelling the coffee mm. i make a good coffee this is I? delicious i have to say this is absolutely awesome and uh, i believe the cultivation of gratitude is one of the single most important secrets of success that um, fear cannot exist when you're actually in that state of gratitude. Now, now let's talk about a little bit about your journey in terms of, uh, first of all, having the faith, having the belief, because starting out, 
um, it can seem like an impossible mission, right, to actually make your MLM business be a success. But in your company, right, from the get-go, how important was having that faith? Oh, my word. Having faith is what it all has to start with. Because, you know, when I started out, I was really unconfident. I didn't have that much belief in myself. Um, so what I found was is I needed to borrow the belief from my sponsor, from my upline, from the people that inspire me, whether they're within your network or not. And then, you know, once you take their belief, it will help build yours. And you've got to have that faith in your product or your service, the faith in the company. And once you've got that, you're going to de develop that faith within your yourself as well and that just grows with action you're not going to get the faith straight away but by doing the activity getting out of your comfort zone because you've got those people believing in you then your faith is going to grow and once that keeps on growing you know that whatever goal you set you're going to be able to achieve now remember as well that what research shows folks is that you can actually increase your level of belief and faith many times to unshakable belief and faith by filling up your mind with a really exciting vision and continuously thinking about that, feeling that, emotionalizing that. So you're literally eating, drinking and sleeping that vision. So if you want to hear the next tip, then tap on the screen because Nat needs more <laughs> love from you. Don't you, Nat? You need I more do. love. I do. I need lots of love for this one. You need lots of love for this one. Let's talk about organization, shall we? So, yeah, I think organization is really key to your business, whatever kind of business you're in. You've got to put that time in and that framework in. And for me, you know, when I started, I don't think I was very organized. I kind of looked at my business as a hobby rather than an actual job. So it's about how you view it and the systems that you put in place. And for me, you know, single parent and I'd often use the kids as an excuse as to why I couldn't do something. But once I got my vision in place, which was all about goals and what I wanted to do it was easy to get organized because you'll do whatever it takes to get there so any time I had without the children when they were at preschool then you know I'd be putting that time into my business that wouldn't be my time to do the shopping to do the housework or to do what ever activity that wasn't business because it wasn't going to move me closer to my vision to my goal so really I put a framework in place and then what I've done over the years along with my leaders is formed a real framework of organization with our trainings, our Facebook groups and everything there to support the team to make it easy for people coming in to get organized straight away. But for your own business, you know, we've got the structure there for you, the training there, but it's down to you to organize the time to do it. And that's what is going to create your business and build it is the time that you put in. That's the only investment that you've got into any MLM business is time. It is your most valuable asset. And again, if you're getting value from this, then let's see the love tap on the screen. You know, mindset is something that you've got to work on all the time. I mean, I always say you've got to master that inner game, but it's not going to happen in a day, right? I mean, you've got to make those higher choices moment by moment, every day, in every way. You always have a choice. Are you going to fill up your mind with the thoughts and the images and the feelings that are going to take you closer to your goals? Or are you going to fill up your mind with negative thoughts that will take you further away from your goals? Remember, most people, unfortunately, fall into the trap of thinking about what they don't want rather than what they do. What's not going great rather than what's going great. Now, let's talk about another key principle. If you want to hear this, folks, let's get some love going here. And I want to hear about empathy. Empathy, you know, empathy is so important again in this business. You've got to be able to stand in the shoes of the people that you're working with, the people that you're supporting. You know, in network marketing, quite often people are joining because they've got challenges and those challenges are really important to them. You might have been through what you think is a tougher challenge, but it's not about you. So it's taking yourself out of the, the equation and having empathy for the people that you're working with. So you've got to be able to stand in their shoes. You've got to be able to look at it through their eyes and empathize with how they're feeling, be able to help build their belief, be able to help 
emotionally connect them to their goals and the way that you do that is by asking lots of questions you know you've got to ask questions about what they're looking for because quite often people have never set a goal before um, and if you ask great questions you're going to be able to find out what it is that really emotionally ties them to their business and once you've got that emotional connection you'll know because you can see it in their eyes their eyes will light up or they'll become tearful because they've connected to the reason that they're going to do whatever it takes to work this business. So have empathy with everyone that you're working with. And equally, you know, when you're working with people, they're going to be going through challenges. It's a roller coaster. They're going to be going up and down. So you've got to empathize with everything that they're going through, whether, you know, that's happened to you or not, whether you would have found that tough or not. You've got to be able to empathize with that person. Thank you for all of the great comments coming through. Hey, we have someone on from Hawaii. I like to spend about two to three months <laughs> of the year in Hawaii. Aloha. And um, let's talk about, a little bit about managing your state. If you've been along to my one day events, I place great emphasis on controlling your state, letting go of the negativity faster. Um, it's something that I've, I guess, trained Nat in from the get go six years ago is to be able to take our head out of our thoughts and avoid the distractions and to realize that you can actually change your state in an instant. So talk about how important that is really. Again, you know, this has been something, a real important tool that I've learned over the years. And again, it's not something that's going to happen overnight. You've got to practice changing that state. You know, to begin with, when people say no to you about the business, when people maybe criticize what you're doing, when people have an opinion, it's their personal opinion and you've got to not let it affect you. So, you know, to begin with, it might take days to be able to get through someone being negative. Whereas now, you know, I can change my state literally just in a click. What they say doesn't matter to me. Equally, you know, there's been times over the years when maybe I've had to go and leave my children, maybe with a babysitter or whatever, and they've been crying because they don't want mummy to go. I've been driving along to launch someone's business, maybe in tears in the car myself. But as soon as I get out of that car, it's showtime. And I can, again, just take my mindset into the moment and perform the way that I need to and you know it just takes that being able to focus on your vision your goals to be able to change your state of mind and really taking the time each day to look at your goals and taking the time to visualize which is you know something that Dave taught me is to be able to shut my eyes and imagine my future to be able to play it like a movie in my mind and once you can practice that which as I say is just time doing it every single day you'll find it very easy to change your state um, in an instance. Exactly and let's just um, again if you're getting value from this folks show us even more love tap on the screen it's great to hear so many of the positive comments coming through and I think you'll agree it's um, it's rare to get a seven figure a year earner right well they're so rare actually so um now talk about expanding your comfort zone because a lot of people for example they know what to do they're not doing what they know they know they got to make those calls maybe get up there and share a, a testimonial at whatever it is their convention puts on in terms of a, a um, an introductory evening um, but you had to do that with speaking. You had to do it with all sorts of things. Really, oh, didn't my you? word. Speaking was my biggest, biggest fear. And I can remember, you know, from being a child at school, being made to stand on my chair and read in class for having been talking or something in the lesson. And that instilled that fear in me moving forward, you know, through university, everything I used to hate presenting. So I had to get over that because I knew to be a success, I had to get used to being able to talk to people, to inspire people. And all I can say is the only way you're going to get to do it is by getting out of your comfort zone. If you're comfortable all the time, you're never going to grow. So you've got to push yourself and push yourself. And I mean, for me, you know, doing some of my first presentations, I was having sleepless nights before. Um, I was absolutely, you know, I've had a panic attack before them, but I didn't, I knew that I had to do it. And my vision for what I wanted to achieve was big enough to make me overcome the challenges, to overcome the hurdles, to be able to get out of that comfort zone and grow. And now, you know, it's got to the stage where 
I can speak in front of when well, my next audience is going to be five and a half, five and a half thousand people. And do I like it? No, I don't particularly like it, but I can do it and I can change my uh, mindset in a moment to be able to be in that place and be focused. So some people are asking, how exactly do you do that? Well, sometimes you've got to put yourself in that position where you're prepared to fail, fail forward. And then you just feel the fear, do it anyway type of thing. You push aside those distracting thoughts. So we have one more tip for you. If you want to hear one final nugget of wisdom from the great Natalie Healy, then again, tap on the screen and uh, we'll decide whether we're going to do that or not, shall we? I think we'll do it, Dave. There's a lot of love coming through here. Okay, well, let's talk about rewards. Let's talk about rewards. Rewards come after hard work. There's no shortcut to um, success. You've got to put that time and effort in. And particularly in network marketing, you know, you can work five years and never have to work again. That first 12 months, just be prepared to put loads of work in and maybe not get as much reward as you think might think you're worth, but within three to five years, that reward comes back so much. But you know, that reward isn't only financial. Obviously, that's a big one, but it's got to a point now where I don't need more than I have. So the reward I get now is simply by knowing that I can help other people change their lives. And I just, nothing makes me happier than getting messages from people that I've coached saying they've been able to leave full-time job, being able to put kids into a private education, being able to go on that dream holiday, being able to help maybe their parents retire, whatever it is that's emotionally driving them to join the, the business is what rewards me the most. And also, you know, just being able to have that time with my children, to see my children laughing, to see them have confidence, to see that, you know, I've been able to help them have a life where they never have to worry. And the same with the, re the rest of my family as well. So, you know, rewards come in many, many different ways. It's not always monetary. It's about being able to help people. And now as well with the charity Dave and I are setting up called Pay It Forward, which I'm so, so excited about. We're now being able to help so many people and reward other people for, you know, people that are less fortunate than us right now, but be able to help give them a future and give them hope. And for me, that's where, where network marketing is really the most rewarding business on earth. So everyone, thank you so much for being here today. It really is our pleasure. We've got some incredibly exciting, I guess, things that we're doing here. Natalie mentioned the, the charity. We're going to have all sorts of surprises in store for you over the next few months. Uh, we're super excited about it. And I guess just, um, you know, parting words for me, no matter where you're at, I mean, we all start out with just a dream right, with just a, a vision. Sometimes it's very hazy, um, but we're both living proof that once you apply these success principles, where you hold that vision to the exclusion of the distractions, where you learn to manage your state, where you continuously course correct moving along towards your goals, then you will get there. I promise you, wherever you are in your life right now, make that vision big, bright, make it bold, make it stand out in your mind, so much so that it propels you to get up out of bed in the morning and go for it to overcome any of your fears. Um, and so parting wisdom from Natalie. If you know what you want in your head, if you can see it clearly and you've got that vision when you shut your eyes, you'll be able to achieve whatever it is that you want. And when you know that you've got that, you've got that emotional connection, you know it's going to be the goal that drives you forward. So if you haven't got that, you've really got to spend the time asking yourself some questions, asking yourself what it is that you truly want, what you truly deserve, what you want for your family, and then there'll be no stopping you in the comfort zone. It's not a problem. Problem, you'll get out of it so go and create that vision board if you haven't done that already that changed everything for me see you guys thank you everyone and uh just uh you'll see all the people saying goodbye ah, just like to see, that part. see you everyone so we'll talk soon keep on keeping on as they say remember as well we decided to start here wherever you appreciate appreciate so 
stay in that vibration of gratitude just two minutes every day according to research makes all the difference in the world have an attitude of gratitude so bye for now everyone and we will talk very very soon bye for now